Hi everyone, we are moving on to classifying triangles. This is Ms. Osier and Ms. Perrier and we are going to jump right in. So there's not much more to say than these are definitions of how we explain what triangles are. So you have a whole lot of vocabulary here and we can classify triangles by sides or by angles. Uh, to classify by angles are the top four and to classify by sides are the bottom four. So an acute triangle, I mean the definition is there, you have three acute angles, an equiangular triangle has three congruent acute angles. Those will always be 60 degrees because 180 divided by three is 60. We have a right triangle, so we just need to know that you have one 90 degree angle, which 90 means right, and the box also means right. So we're going to learn something about that as well, about right triangles. They have this thing called a hypotenuse. And you should, from all of the Pythagorean theorem work that we've done, have already known where the hypotenuse is, but if not, we really need to know by now that that is the hypotenuse. We have an obtuse angle, so we need to know that at least one angle is greater than 90 degrees. And then isosceles triangle has two equal sides. Scalene triangles has no equal sides. In an isosceles triangle, those sides are called the legs, whereas the other side is called the base. And it's really that easy. Uh, again, we'll talk about isosceles triangles a lot more in the next um, learning target when we move on with the vocabulary. So to classify by angle measure, again, that's the top four. And to classify by side measure, it's the bottom three. So really, it's just you being able to identify what they are. So here we go. So for this one, we're just going to classify by length, by side lengths and angle measures. So again, by side lengths first, you can see that they're all different. So it would be scalene, and we got an angle greater than 90. So we're going to classify this as a scalene obtuse triangle. The next triangle is the only triangle that can be classified as three things. The reason being because it's equilateral and equiangular. It has all three equal sides and all three equal angles. All of those angles happen to be acute, so this is also an acute triangle. And then the last one, we have that box there. So we are, know already that it is a right triangle. And then the two check marks mean that it is isosceles, making it an isosceles right triangle. Now, on the bottom, this is making us think a little bit more into it. So you're trying to draw a triangle given the information. If you think it's possible, go for it. If, if not, then write no other such triangle. So for the first one with sides of 3, 3, and 5, yeah, I could draw that. I could make 3 and 3, make an obtuse, be able to reach to both ends of the 5, and we're good to go. In number 5, it's a little bit different. They give me angle measures. So really, you got to think a little bit difficult or not a little bit difficult you have to think more into this if you add all of those angles up you get more than 180 because the two 92s alone are over 180 so no such triangle exists you can never have more than one up two uh, angle in a triangle then for the last one you see that we have a 90 degree angle so we should automatically think that it is a right triangle drawing it as such and 90, 60, 30 is a super common one. But that's it for this video. Super short and sweet. Make sure you know this vocabulary. Have a great day.